Hello. Well, here we go again. Let's do it. Hi everyone, it's Fabian with Fabian's Magic Altars. Welcome to another video for my tutorial series. Uh, in my first video tutorial, Altering 101, I briefly discussed the major types of altars including the category I like to call standard altars. Uh, to me, these altars are the most common altars, typically made with acrylic paints, markers, pens, or any other similar materials. In this video today, I wanted to discuss some of the different styles of standard altars so that you can get an idea of what each style has to offer along with some tips. So let's begin with borderless extensions. These altars consist of extending the original art beyond the inner frame onto the card's border. Very popular because they offer a nice aesthetic look and leave most of the card's original art untouched. Many beginners like to start off with borderless extensions but color matching can get frustrated with certain cards, for example, extending sky colors or clouds or light pastels. Practice can help you get better at these types of altars, so just keep practicing if you're a beginner. Try altering a bit onto the card's original art to create a smoother transition between what you're painting and the original art. Up next, we have textless extensions. Similar to the borderless extensions concept, these altars extend the original art further to the point of covering up the card's text box, type line, and power toughness. The original art inside the art box remains unchanged, so it's a very pleasing altar to look at if you enjoy the original card's art. It's a great altar to get creative and expand on what the original artist was trying to do. Pay close attention when removing paint around the text, mana cost, or PT. Keeping the text clean and sharp will make your extension look even better. Up next is box altars. These altars contain most of the painted image within the original art box. It's a great style for painting cartoon characters or comic book style art, anywhere from simple cartoon characters that take a couple hours to paint or detailed comic book characters that require longer hours to finish. In some of these altars, the image will extend outside the art box a bit, which creates a great perspective that makes the image look like it's popping out of the card. But be careful when selecting what part of the image you want to have extend beyond the frame. You don't want the perspective being thrown off by a funky angle, or you may not want to cover a certain part of the card's name or mana cost. Up next is border and box altars. These altars combine the style of borderless extensions and a box altar to create an altar where most of the card is covered up except for the text boxes. It's a good style for those of you looking to completely change the art, but still keep the text to remind you of what the card does. Side note, this doesn't guarantee a judge-friendly altar since it covers up the original art. If your reference image doesn't have much going on on the bottom half of the card, try altering the bottom part of the border with a color fade. Finally, we have full covers. These altars cover up almost the entire card with new artwork. Very little of the original card remains. Typically, only the card's name, mana cost, and or PT remain. It provides the biggest area to alter, so you can fit a lot of details if you wish to do an elaborate image and get creative. Of course, the more elaborate the image is, the longer it will take for you to finish. Although you have the whole card space to alter, make sure when deciding what reference image to use that you know your limitations. Try to print a copy to scale to see if you'll be able to paint all the tiny details. All right, I think that covers the different styles of standard altars. If I missed any, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, feel free to leave a comment below. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe, share, and check out my Facebook altars page for my latest altars and updates. And as always, thanks for watching and happy altering.